The Law of Success by Paramahansa Yogananda, using the power of spirit to create health, prosperity, and happiness. Today we're reading The Need for Self-Analysis. Another secret of progress is self-analysis. Introspection is a mirror in which to see recesses of your mind that otherwise would remain hidden from you. Diagnose your failures and sort out your good and bad tendencies. Analyze what you are, what you wish to become, and what shortcomings are impeding you. Decide the nature of your true task, your mission in life. Endeavor to make yourself what you should be and what you want to be. As you keep your mind on God and attune yourself to his will, you will progress more and more surely in your path. Your ultimate purpose is to find your way back to God. But you also have a task to perform in the outer world. Willpower, combined with initiative, will help you to recognize and fulfill that task. Self-analysis. Often people, I've been done this in myself, thought I was a certain way. We have a distorted image of ourselves and who we actually are. But if we actually analyze what we do and our tendencies, negative and good, we might actually get a better well-rounded picture of the, the actual being we are and what areas need improving and cultivating and what else needs to be let go of for us to become into that actual image that we thought we were. Um that's what I did as well. A lot of the time I write down what negative tendencies I had or and rewrite them to positive and do my best to cultivate that within myself. And then, you know, that's when you notice that um, if you're falling back into that older way, you can use your willpower to push through it. No, I'm not going to do that bad tendency anymore. I now want to do this. I'm no longer going to go buy that fast food. I'm going to cook my meal tonight and every night like tonight today on my way home driving old tendency to buy fast food kicked in and I drove past the place and I looked at it and everything and he's like go in there and I was like I breathed I stopped and I just drove past I said I'll wait till I'm away and I'll go do a bit of work and then analyze if I really need it and then I was like I don't actually need it I've got food at home I just went and brought stuff to make curries um I got some curly fries at home or whatnot, you know. And then I used the power of my thoughts and my reasoning and my willpower to not go spend money on food which I could make at home. And I pushed through it and it was good because I hadn't used to have a tendency to just buy food which isn't good for the body or the bank account. <laughs> but yeah. And again, we come back to here as you keep your mind on God, 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 may thy will be done, may thy will be done, I will will, I will reason, but guidest thou my will, reason, and activity to do the right thing that I should do, or, you know, other thoughts such as, I will purify my mind with the thought that God is behind all thoughts and activities that I do, um, I am doing this work for God, I am doing this work for God, you know, if you're struggling doing the work towards your goal or whatever you're going to do, stop, lift your gaze here, breathe in. I am working for God. I'm doing it for God. Remove the little I ego. I'm working for the bigger self to, uh, you know, fulfill my role in the cosmic movie that is known as life. <laughs> I'm just going to play the part and then get out of here once the time is done. But while you're here, you know, try find your purpose. Write down all the good, ask people, what qualities do I have? What do you like about me? What do you not like about me? What bad traits do I have? But don't take it personally. You know, if, they, if you ask them to give you something and then they give it to you and you get upset at them, that's a bad trait in yourself. So try see what other people, because our thoughts of ourselves are often clouded by our own thoughts, right? And if we can get people to give their opinion, you you know, you ask them for it to write both good traits and negative traits. 
get it from a few people, you know, you have courage, fearlessness, so had you have the self analysis, and then you can look at it and like, okay, is that true? Or that's come up from three people now. Maybe there is truth, so I should look at it, I should analyze it. Okay, here's my good traits, wonderful, wonderful. Let's keep growing these, let's get rid of that and that and work to improve those ones. And then you can craft a good image of yourself. And like it says in here, you can find your purpose. Maybe they say, oh, you're really good at speaking to people. Oh, you communicate so well. Oh, you're so warming and um, you know, welcoming and I feel safe to open up to you. Maybe then you will be like, oh, maybe my purpose is in a role to help people or help people grow or I should be in an industry or a business or a profession or create something where I'm working with people or coaching or whatnot. Or maybe like you're really analytical. Maybe you're so good at, um, you know, crunching numbers or something. Maybe I should be in banking or maybe I should create a business to do with this or, you know, try to get a good, well-rounded image of yourself. Sometimes we don't see, you know, the butterfly can't see its own beautiful wings. So there could be some beautiful traits that we're missing. We don't even know. For instance, I went to, my mum just retired. So I went to her lunch and all her work colleagues, all like not every single one of them, but a few of the, them said some really beautiful, special things about my mum. And it made me feel so good hearing, you know, them say these qualities that I had seen in my mum and others that I didn't even knew existed that they brought to the light. And for my mum, she didn't even realise some of the traits that they had said and the good things that they had said, you know, because we have our own thoughts about ourselves, our own image, but we can also get opinions from others, merge it together and create and cultivate the perfect ideal image of ourselves. And then we keep thinking about it, keep moving towards it, imagining it, using our willpower to do the activities and be fearless and courageous and know that we can accomplish it, keep our mind on God and meditate and it'll all come together along this journey as we keep going and keep going. And whatever hurdles come along the way, keep even-mindedness, free from strong likes and dislikes and push through it and you'll get through it. Remember, before the gold, there's some big rocks that you need to break through. <laughs> Oh, oh, got it. That was the need for self-analysis. Tomorrow I'll read the creative power of initiative. And remember, I'm just giving my own personal thoughts on these things from my own experiences. So you'll have your own life and your own experiences and your own thoughts. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're enjoying this three series. May peace be on your soul and infinite success and joy come your way. Success. Joy. <laughs> Goodbye.